Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And we've had a lot of questions about our sanitizing hand gels. We've got an organic version and also a hospital grade version. I've also been asked, how do you make some sanitizing sprays? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sanitizing spray that you can use on your hands and you can source all of these materials really easily, even if you're just DIY making at home. And of course, I'm going to give you also an option of how to make a sanitizing spray that you can use on surfaces. You can, of course, get these formulas absolutely free because they're formulas, they are detailed. I wanna make sure you get it right, even if you're a DIY. So we don't put it on the screen, but we will provide these formulas for you absolutely free. So now, let me show you how they're made. Now, first of all, I wanna show you, I am using 100% ethanol, but you can use 100% isopropyl alcohol. Now you can get isopropyl alcohol easily from various sources on the internet. I am using ethanol but you can do a direct swap as long as it's a hundred percent strength isopropyl alcohol that you are swapping it for it will still be sanitizing. Now I'm doing the hand version. In the hand version I am adding some glycerin. I'm adding this because alcohol, isopropyl alcohol uh, they are both drying on the skin. So I've got a little bit of glycerin in this formula for when you're applying it to your hands. If you are making a surface only product, then just simply don't add glycerin. Make up the remainder with the water instead. And we have both formulas for you. Now I'm just adding this to the water. and give that a stir. Now I've also had a lot of questions about can I add some essential oil or fragrance? Yes, you can. The ethanol and the isopropyl alcohol will solubilize up to 0.3% of essential oil or fragrance really easily. So this is my lavender essential oil I'm using here. And I've just got that into the ethanol now I'm going to give that a stir first. I want to solubilize my essential oil. And again, you could be using isopropyl alcohol in place of the ethanol that I have here. Now I'm just going to add this ethanol and essential oil phase into my water phase. I'm just gonna add it slowly, bit by bit. And I'm adding it slowly so that I can get the essential oil into the water phase without it turning cloudy or without it separating out. And as you can see by doing so, it is totally clear. Here is our totally clear and totally sprayable sanitizing hand spray. Now you should be able to access all of these materials really easily, even if you've never made product before. As I mentioned, isopropyl alcohol is very readily available from various sources all over the internet. Now, if you are making this product, please be careful about the essential oils you use because some might mark your surfaces. For a surface sanitizing spray, maybe leave them out altogether. For a hand product, Avoid essential oils like bergamot, bitter orange, lime, lemon, and grapefruit because these are phototoxic, which means they can actually leave stains on the skin when exposed to the sun. So avoid those essential oils and don't go over 0.3% and that way your product will be safe for use. Please remember that both isopropyl alcohol and ethanol are highly flammable substances. So store them and use them carefully and definitely do not post this kind of product by airmail. It's a dangerous good because of the ethanol or isopropyl alcohol content. Now this does contain 70% ethanol or if you're using isopropyl alcohol, which makes it a hospital strength sanitizing product. 
It is not effective against 100% of organisms, but it will be effective against 99.99%, just like every other hospital grade sanitizing product out there. Please don't use methylated spirits in place of the ethanol. It contains a denaturing agent, which is not good for your skin. Please do not use denatured ethanol. It also contains a denaturing agent that is not good for your skin. And we don't need to add a preservative in this formula because the ethanol or isopropyl alcohol is making it self-preserving. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make your own sanitizing spray. Please go direct to our link for that free formula. We're happy to provide it to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to our video channel so you can receive notifications about all our formulations. Happy formulating.